Never been better. Sure don't look it. I can't let you on! Hey, hey, we're chill! Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. Speaking. Uh-huh. Got picks? You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. What curled up your ass? Okay. I want it today. Great. Johnny! Wait up! Don't do this! You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. <laughs> Gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Who's late and who's not? Get in before I change my mind. Silverhand! Hey, Shaden! Get us in the air! Here, put this on, and it stays on! Got it? Shut down. APC's on the streets of Watson. Sons of bitches. Skull cracking out there. That us? Johnny's idea. Wayland's drawing Arasaka's attention away from the tower. Collateral damage part of the plan, too. This isn't the Cub Scouts, Thompson. Chew it up, spit it out.
point. Get moving. Johnny, remember the plan? Get the payload on the elevator and arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Explosion rocks the foundation, tower crumbles, chaos, screaming roll credits. Exit window's gonna be tight. Jacking in. Must be here somewhere. Is grass green? Do birds fly? Do cats eat bats? Do rats shit gnats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on! Evac announcement! Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving. Sheesh. <laughs> Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Ah. Oh, great. Get ready! Yes, great! Be careful. They'll see you. Oh. Cheeto 2, bomb's name was what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! Out of there, Run Johnny. for it! Shoot the cables! Get the rotor spinning! We're on our way! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about Arasaka. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? Not like you could ever understand, Rogue. You're on your own. I'm giving you four fucking minutes if you want to ride out of here. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world loves me. Closing in on the access point. Slide in. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take a we look. turn now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote-unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick.
Murphy? Door's sealed, but it won't hold for long. Run, Johnny. Like the wind. Smasher. Told you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Hi, Mother, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Let us try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? Ugh. Hey, Gramps. I know you. Hazusi. Çoksetsiz anlaşıyorsun. Hot damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze Konoyonakoto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you Rick. And you, who are you?
than she looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this... <laughs> They are faint again. Keep your eyes open. Uh. We both could use medical attention. Do you know a Reaper Doc whom you can trust? I know. Someone. We must get to Ripadok. Quickly! Did well back there. Do not waste time. Victor. We'll fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. Anyone. 
Why... Why not just cut me loose? I'm dead weight to you. Make the call. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. Need to get to Misty's Esoterica in front of Vex. Of course. A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! So now Link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neuro sockets between her lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit that vein by mistake, she will die. Indeed, as she will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking. It's neurogenic shock. She's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is she? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. You in there? Ah, my head. How you feeling? Fuck. I don't know, Vic. My ears are ringing. And then I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and... I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of hatred. And then I let it all out into a mic, and I realize it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then I promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different, strange, and I, I hated it, hated everybody, every inch, it was too real, even for a lucid dream, you weren't dreaming V, those were memories, there's a personality construct on that shard, dreams you had, were from his past, Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head right now? That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Never 
given me that look before, Vic. What is it? You, uh... Don't got a lot of time left, kid. Say what now? The biochip. It's basically a bomb. Fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... One day you'll just be... Gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't omit a thing. Not one deed. Okay. There was... is a construct. A psyche on the chip. Out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter Deshaun. How do you come back from something like that? Low caliber. You lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. You are Dr. Victor, and I'm your monster. <laughs> Perfect. Your body's only a body. You can modify it, replace it with chrome, hell, get a new one altogether. Your mind, though? Oh, that's a whole nother story. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body! It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Can we just take the chip out or s switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. I remember this thing, saw it on TV. Oh, it was a stupid slogan. Soul something. Secure your soul. That's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe, but this is a prototype by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... What the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. I was gonna die with him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death, the inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizines from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak.
Given me a pill to prod that son of a bitch, so he can kill me faster? Listen, you're likely to be fine for a while. But sometime down the road, it could turn into pure agony. I'm giving you options, honey. The brain can be tricked. Plain old painkillers do that. Your psyche's gonna die, V. You'll feel your old self slipping away. At some point, you won't recognize yourself. It'll be terrifying. It'll be painful. But it doesn't have to be. The fuck I need pills for. How did you stick a gun in my mouth? Pull the trigger. Well, that way you'd kill two souls. Is that what you want? Gotta lie down. Here, got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep. Didn't you hear? My condition's terminal. What good can this do? Don't be silly. As long as you're alive, there's hope. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Really think I can make it? Survive this? Of course you can. I mean, you did already die and come back once, didn't you? Misty, wait. Um, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you, like, lots. We got into a fight, right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way, you included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? Don't smoke. Then go out and get some. Just need one last one. Jesus fucking Christ, man! The fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be? Fucking ghost off! Ah! Who you work for, start talking! Fuck. Fuck. Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait. I'll find a way. 
You hear me? See you never, asshole. Now like that! Stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit, creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be.
Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Tom's diner. Hmm. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract, it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? You ask a lot of questions. You have many interesting things to say. Might be your turn now to say something interesting. I intend to punish Yorinobu Arasaka severely for the crime he has committed. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. Be, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think? They'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. 
people interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped Arasaka. Betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... <sighs> Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the High and Mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind to most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy. Expensive and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. 
Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our Saka still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? what I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, Hello. you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chu. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come round. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? 
Beat some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know. Use lead. I, I don't care. I just want my room back. Your pimp threw you out, that it? Told me I was generating. Judy's embarrassing herself again. Wonder why so we... Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. You done with that bad boy, Yep. Back to the bump and grind. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need... You so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega Tower. <laughs> Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Club's closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? Uh, heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. Might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. Guessing the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses at share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? No, just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by, that's all I'll say. Heard you give the working girls a helping hand. That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot? Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? 
Not the first, just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started, but that's old news. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleas to meet you? Hmm. I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Hey, look. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. Okay. 